there are all kinds of cuts going on elsewhere in NOAA that are, are going to degrade our ability to forecast hurricanes this year. James Franklin is the former branch chief of the Hurricane Specialist Unit at the National Hurricane Center. It looks like the Miami and Key West local weather forecast offices, for example, uh, will be operating at only 60 percent capability in terms of their meteorologists. They're trying to decide, you know, do I need to put up my shutters? What other kinds of precautions do I need to take? Do I need to leave? And I think you're going to see mistakes being made when, when you don't have adequate people to do that work. Plus, take this service change notice, effective today. You see the spaghetti lines on the TV? That's what I do. Posted by re-terminated NOAA physical scientist Andy Hazelton on the Platform X. The notice says the National Weather Service may need to temporarily reduce or suspend scheduled weather balloon launches at select sites due in part to staffing limitations. The primary source of upper air data with the attached instrument measures pressure, temperature, relative humidity, a key component in generating computer models that forecast a storm's path, explains Franklin. Imagine a hurricane is approaching uh, from the east through the Bahamas and we have a trough coming off the U.S. East Coast. The question will be, is that trough strong enough to turn that hurricane north out to sea, or will the trough miss the storm and it comes plowing into South Florida or Texas or wherever? Not having some of those key balloon launch data into the models could cause the models to miss that interaction and lead to a very big error in a forecast at a crucial time. While none of these Republican U.S. Senators and congressional members representing you in Florida responded to a request for comment. In a statement, Democratic Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson told Local 10 News, quote, these cuts don't just slash budgets, they put lives at risk. As Democratic Florida Rep Jared Moskowitz said. So now we're not going to have good enough data to know when the hurricanes are coming. And we're talking about, you know, not having FEMA assistance. So this is a double whammy.